Isn't she a beauty? In a sort of a concrete, brutal sort of way. And we're back with some more satisfactory. And today we are going to be converting this wonderful piece of paradise into an even more wonderful factory that will be producing circuit boards. I, oh, was it AI limiters and high speed connectors? Yes, this has all the nearby resources we need. But first, I can see a blue slug down there. Oop, and there's another blue slug over there. Oh, there's a yellow one. Um. Oh, and there's another blue one. Yeah, I just just give me a few minutes. Oh, is there something over there? No, that's just nuts. Never mind. G just give me a minute. This is a quick look at our target goal for the day. We want to get alternative silicon boards, uh, alternative high-speed connectors, and AI limiters, and we want to put all of them in this little module. The reason for that is, well, they consume all our silica. They also consume all of our copper sheets, and while they don't cons they actually also consume all our quick wire, but not all of our caterium. But taking all of these off of our main bus at the, the home base will save us so much resources, and as well as that, they're all sort of self-contained and a little bit uh, helping each other out. For example, the circuit boards are required for the high-speed connectors, and the copper sheets are required for both AI limiters and the circuit boards. And since our trains are designed to have four carriages, we can take all three of these back on a single train. Easy peasy. Now, I sort of... Uh, stretched it out over here and this is what it's going to look like. This is all, I just put in the target numbers of what we were aiming to get it out. And then this is what we're going to have to build. Big problems here, there are going to be the sheer quantity of refineries. We're gonna need about, oh, we're gonna round up to about 36 and we're gonna round that up to about 30 copper sheets. So we're gonna need about 36 caterium ingot production and about 30 copper sheet production. And those are those massive refineries that take liquids and solids. That's gonna hurt. The rest of it, though, should be fairly straightforward. They're just assembly assemblers and instructors. Oh, and as well as that, I'm thinking about using iron ore and copper for that. More into that in a minute. After a quick stop back at the home base, we have a fully stocked up build train. Well, to get us started on this production, I'm sure I will have forgotten something and I'll have to pop back, but that's okay. We can throw together a, a launcher and fire ourselves back and forth if needs be. All right, let's get this build underway. Oh, and there was so many bugs and all sorts of things we got to harvest while we were there. It's amazing how quickly you get distracted by things when you're out and about. And I have been reliably informed that uh, you can't fall off the end of a track. It just insta-stops. Same as Factorio. That is good to know. Now, we do have a, uh, a ladder system that goes down. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to locate all the nearby deposits. This here is a top-down map view of the area. There's a little train. There's us parked above that uh, big pool of water. What we're interested in here is we have got two caterium ores right here. We've also got a copper ore and we've got ourselves quartz. So all of these are in relatively close proximity to us. As well as that, if we go into resource nodes, there's also a little bit of iron ore around here, so we can stretch the copper if we want. I think we will, just to use that recipe before we uh, we finish off the game. And we're going to use the copper, caterium, uh, the quartz, the water, and possibly a little bit of iron ore to make ourselves all of our little electronic components, probably around this water patch right here. So let's get a platform built, at least to start. Before building the platform, I got a little distracted. I decided to hook up the nodes. So there's the caterium node over there and there. I hooked those two up and... I've actually ran transport belts in a perfectly straight, contiguous line all the way over to there, so the two of them are meeting up. That'll give us enough caterium. Uh, then we've got one quartz mine plugged in over here, and that quartz mine is going to feed up to there. So we're going to, well, they both require water. We want to refine them with water to stretch the supplies. Oh, actually, wait, the silicon? No, the silica doesn't. Uh, then down here, we're going to take that copper ore, and we're going to combine that with some iron ore and turn that directly into just copper ingots. We're going to use a slightly different recipe, but I think we can do that there and then just run the copper ingots over. They don't need any water to be produced. So, yeah, I think next step, copper production. In the distance there, you can see the train that we, well, parked over the edge of a cliff and the ladder coming down from it. And we are all the way over here. We're standing on top of a little iron node. It's just a normal iron node. And we've got a copper node over there as well. What we're going to do is combine that copper with a lid. We're going to dope it with just a little bit of iron to turn it into copper ingots. It just allows us to stretch that copper supply a little bit without having to tap into two nodes. I'm thinking we're going to put a sort of concrete platform across here, sort of like that. We'll, we'll put in some supports on it later, but this will be where we turn all of our uh, copper into copper ingots, and then we'll ship it back up there to where all the rest of the production will go on. Little bit of production later, and this is what we've got. Uh, now, I know this looks a little bit odd, but what we have here is a smelter or a foundry, and it's set to do copper ingots, but it's making it out of 10 copper ore and 5 iron ore, and you get 20 copper ingots out. Hell yes. You're only putting in 15 ore and getting out 20? Yes, and... Five of it is iron that's supremely plentiful. So, done. Copper comes from over there, the iron comes from down there. I should really... Should I overclock that? 
I don't think I need to, but actually no, we're not going to bother overclocking that mine. I've overclocked the copper one because we do need a fair chunk, but the iron, we only need like about 156 of this. So done. Now all the iron ingots was, or the copper ingots will spit at the front, and then we're going to take all of those and bring them back towards our core area over here. With all of that copper brought back here, we're now ready to start building our platform. Now, I'm thinking we got the Caterium ore there. We've got the copper ore somewhere up there. I can't see it. It's behind all the greenery. I'm trying to leave as much greenery in place as possible for this one. And then we've got the quartz just over there. So what I think we do is we put down a few water pumps down here, figure out how high they are, and then build our platforms above that. And sort of build layer upon layer upon layer to so the finished product comes out at the top as close to the trains as possible. A little bit of throwing down some of those four meter high concrete chunks and we've got ourselves up to a nice level. I think, yeah, we're definitely well above any water pumps we'll be putting down here. Now it's time to just bring darkness to this entire pond and those uh, poor beans. Well, sorry guys, we're about to destroy your habitat. Nothing personal, but factory must complete. Over there we have the first 18 refineries, which is good because we're going to need about 60 of the damn things. Oh my god, these things are huge. All right, and what we're going to do with them is we're going to make Caterium ingots. Uh, that takes in two Caterium ore and two water and spits out one ingot. That's really good for us. If we try to make this normally just using a, just a smelter, uh, the problem with that is Caterium ingots require three Caterium and only spits out one ingot. So this is a 50% increase and we desperately need that. Caterium is one of the rarer resources you'll get. And also that looks really cool through there. All right, but one nice little thing, let me get to the end here. By getting these two to face each other, uh, we can do this little nice little trick of bringing everything together. We can put a conveyor merger right there, and should this work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And would you look at that? All of them are feeding right into the center and going all the way to the end. That's the first time I've tried that using the smart mod. I'm glad that it works that way. All right, uh, let me let me finish hooking these up. Or whoa, damn it, damn it. Yeah, we're going to need to put some pillars down there later, just to make it look nice. But for now, let's get the production done. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. There's something just majestic about all those machines waiting to turn on. And we'll just plug it into Electrical Grid. That somehow feeds back to our base. I don't know. Honestly, I found these out here. I can't even remember why I ran them. I think it was something to do. I was planning on doing oil or something. And there you can see the Caterium flowing. It flows into those refineries there and those refineries there. The middle one, not yet because that one we've made a little bit of a setup here. You see, we're splitting, there's just gonna need about 900 Caterium, so we're gonna bring in 600 on each belt, and then we're gonna split the excess off there, and we're gonna split the excess off there. And done. That means we should be able to run three rows of it. This way we actually have 12 refineries each. I was going to do four rows of nine, but we sort of ran out of space there on the edge. We were starting to jut up against the mountains, so you know what I said? We'll just leave it at that. So this will be our ground floor. All of our Caterium production will be on this. Next floor up, that's going to be all copper sheet. Now, I'm sure you're looking at this going, wait a minute, isn't this the same thing? Well, no, not not quite. Look, the, the belts leading into it are slightly different than the last one, and there's like a few less refineries in here. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably hook those up the other side as well. That would That would make a little bit of sense. So what this is, is another layer on top of this layer. So that's what the Caterium is doing down there. And then we've got the water all getting pumped up from down here. Then after that floor, we've got this floor up here, which is just covered in, well, refineries. Then the floor above that is just more refineries. These things are huge tall as well. The amount of distance you have to clear is ridiculous. I really wish they would change the jetpack a bit just to be that you didn't have to feather the throttle instead you could just floor it. This whole tapping thing is just a, feels like a waste of time. All right, done, done. Let me get to the end here and done. We have uh, put on all the belts on the split off areas and that should spread it out evenly between all of them. Now, the reason we're using water for this, to clear that list, uh, is normally what you would do is you would just grab your copper and turn it straight into copper sheet. But that would cost you two copper ingots would give you one copper sheet. However, if you're willing to build refineries and you're willing to pump them full of water, you can get a one-to-one -one ratio. It costs three copper ingots to produce three copper sheets. This doubles the efficiency and uh, kind of worth it. Another thing you could do also as well is we could uh, have got the copper ingots at the start and put them through a, a wet smelting and that would have given us way more copper ingots as well, but eh, it was just easier to do it with the, the foundries and iron ore and also a lot faster. Running these, I hate running large quantities of these because doing all of this belt work, uh, well not the belt work, the pipe work is just so annoyingly painful. 
it's the slowest part of the game so far is doing all the the pipe work and i don't really ugh, i prefer to avoid it actually in future well that's two layers done now we got to do the top layer i think we could fit everything in the top layer that's one two yeah the third layer is going to be another mile up dear lord oh and those pumps we have to use the 50 meter pumps down the bottom there's two different types of pumps you can put on we have the basic pumps which are level eights they can uh, give an uplift of about 20 meters then we have the level two pumps those ones have an uplift of 50 meters we're at about 48 meters pumping all the water up here so this is about as high as we really want to go with the water anyway so there's no more water above this level all right let's check up one more floor oh the way i uh, go up the floors is i basically just well i use the jetpack and just start building foundations underneath me and then i just keep going till i run out of fuel and then at that point, I kind of figure out if I've went too far. Usually you've gone too far. Yeah, maybe not. Give me a minute. We have taken our flat slab of concrete and for the layer three section, we've put on a whole bunch of silica production over there. That means we're gonna plug in some quartz crystal. We'll get our silica out the other side and that'll allow us to make those silicon circuit boards we have been wanting so much. Now over here, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug in the raw silica there and then plug in the other raw silica over wait wait for the autosave it's taking it it's taking a little bit longer now the game actually feels a little bit chuggish computer is maybe struggling just a tad and there we go we should have plenty of silica coming out the other side i might want to go down and make sure that's a level seven belt or uh, that's been overclocked i'm pretty sure it is but i'll have to double check at some point so now we have silica, we have copper sheet, and we have caterium ore. In fact, the only thing we're missing, the only other intermediate product we're missing is quick wire. Quick wire will allow us to make the AI, was it? No, the silicon high speed connectors and the AI limiters. So I think we'll do the quick wire first and then we'll start combining everything. We might even be able to fit everything on this floor. I stuck in a few pillars, uh, actually. Yeah, so that's what the pillars look like. The pillars go all the way down and I've got four of them on each side of the building. I think it looks, you know, industrial. Nice and industrial. This one got ugh, a little complicated to figure out. We're dealing here with quick wire and copper sheet. So we're putting copper sheet and quick wire into this machine to get it working. However, we've got to turn the ingots into quick wire and the quick wire, well, it's 60 per machine, which means you quickly hit the cap limit of 780 for the belt. So what we did instead was we've limited this to 600. We're going to pump out 600 quick wire here stick it onto a belt and then immediately feed it right back into those six machines over there. So, theoretically, no, I haven't actually tested this yet, but if we plug that in, there we go, Caterium more starts flowing, the Caterium starts getting turned into quick wire, quick wire starts heading out this direction, and it starts getting sent down to all those machines. And let's see, you need, all right, a hundred, well, 20 quick wire before you're going to do anything. Come on, start up, perfect. So that should start up and start making the AI limiters. However, we've only got six of these up and running and we're going to need 8.2. So we're gonna need to put in three more of these assembly machines and well, then about five more of the quick wire producers. Yeah, we're gonna need another floor, aren't we? God damn it. Okay, fine, I'll finish off this floor and then we'll have to do the, actually, anything left is high speed, high speed, high speed controllers after that, actually. Yeah, the high speed controllers would be the last thing. Yeah, okay, looks like the top floor is gonna be pretty bare. Isn't it beautiful? This is all of the AI limiters complete. This is our old production over here, and this is the new one down here. It's not as perfectly neat as the others, but we've got our uh, Caterium ore coming out here. We just chucked on a splitter onto the belt that was already feeding these ones, and we sort of put them back to back. So now we've got five Caterium wire here, and that's going down here, and we are going to feed that. Oh, look at that, a perfectly right angle. See, I'm learning. And then that all comes down here and gets turned into AI limiters. Those AI limiters are then going to get spit out along here and chucked down to the end over that side to link up with the other AI limiters. That's one thing done. And down here we've got all of our circuit boards being complete. So now, well, circuit boards, AI limiters, all completed. All we need now is the high speed connectors. But let's have a quick look back at our spreadsheet. Well, it's not exactly a spreadsheet, but close enough. Uh, AI limiters are done. There's the steamed copper sheet and quick wire that feeds them. They're knocked out. We've got our production of that completed. All we needed was 8.2. We've got nine. Then here's your circuits, uh, circuit boards. That's actually, yeah, that's where all of our copper sheet are going. We won't need any more copper sheet after this. 
there's some of the silica copper sheet goes into the circuit boards and we've got 170 to spare but we're going to need 41 of those for these high speed connectors which just requires an assembly machine and we just chuck in the uh, circuit boards and the silica both of which we've got on the bus oh and the quick wire yeah sorry these things are going to re require those big manufacturers so we're going to need 14 manufacturers to produce these things that should be not too bad we've got a whole factory floor to do it in however i do like this floor too much i don't want to hide it so i think i'm going to go back home Go to the awesome shop and buy some see-through floors if at all possible. It really does look nice. I just don't, I can't cover it. Uh, over here we've put together a little uh, launch cannon. I've been using these for a while. This just allows me to go back and forth when I inevitably forget something. We just got to make sure to avoid the tree. And we're good. That gives us, oh, turn off the fog, shall we? Yeah, there's our base. Yeah, turning off the fogs makes, makes it possible to figure out where you're going. And oh my god, we're going way too fast. All right, we'll slow down and head over to there. I think I've got an awesome shop around here somewhere. Plus, I think that's where the tickets are located. Oh. Yeah, that could have been awkward. Almost forgot to put on the jetpack. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe these are the ones that are see-through floors. I can't find anything that's actually a specific, specifically a glass floor, but uh, we'll take that. Let's see if this is what we were looking for. Would you look at that? Glass floor foundations. All right, all right, we'll give these a go. You can't really see too much through them, but eh, never mind. We'll uh, we'll figure something out. I better go grab some more steel beams before I head back, though. The return journey back to the forest is going to be a little bit messier, mainly because I had to build this thing way up here because we need that space for a train station at some point. So, yeah. However, we do get some massive airtime out of this thing. I think I may have put the cannon a little bit too high up in the air. But over there, you can see the uh, train stop. Below it, we can see our factory, even though the trees are clipping in. And back there, you can actually see the copper sheets that we've been using. Oh, I should probably put on the jetpack too. And nice. All right. All we have to do now is put in a glass frame floor over this thing. How well this works and what it does to my frame rate, I have no idea. We might actually want to... Uh, turn down the, this graphical settings just a tad for this next step. I am not saying the health and safety people will be cool with us building a factory on top of this glass floor, but it does look pretty sweet. The graphics can't really... Yeah, they, they have to only load in at certain distances. I'd say to stop problems, like a lot of slowdown from dealing with this much light refraction, but yeah, beautiful. Uh, let's check out how the downstairs looks with this. Yeah, I know, I know I should be building the factory, but seriously, I just wanted to have a look. That's not actually too bad. Yeah. All right, we might do some playing around with that in the future, but no, no, no. We're going to put down 14 manufacturers and we're going to build out the last of this, goddammit. To build these wonderful high-speed controllers, we're going to need to put in quick wire, silica, and circuit boards. Silica circuit boards, already there, we're all done on that. It's just the quick wire that's going to hurt us. It requires 90 quick wire per minute. However... One of these uh, machines only spits out 60. Now we're not going to overclock them or anything, but what we can do is just take three of these, combine them with two of those, and that will means we'll be getting, uh, well, 109, 180 quick wire going into two of these machines, which means three of these to two of those is the perfect ratio. So here's one we made earlier, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. As you can see, we've got the two machines there with the three quick wire ones feeding in. We just got to get the other two ingredients in and then make, what, like seven more of these? I wonder if we're going to be able to squeeze these in on this top layer. We better be able to. I, we're not going up another floor. No. Even if you have to expand this factory and make it top heavy, I don't care. Well, there was one minor problem with our plan. It wasn't going to work. <laughs> the problem was we didn't have enough space on top of the platform and I was going to have to expand it out. But then I came up with a slightly different idea. We have eight manufacturers here. Uh, or sorry, four manufacturers here. Another four manufacturers there. And in the middle, we have 12 constructors making quick wire. So what happens is... The caterium comes in here, it gets turned into quick wire down this section, and then that caterium branches out left into these four manufacturers, and right into these four manufacturers. Meaning this one strip here can support each, yeah, those eight manufacturers. That was, um, actually much more compact. Then we did something similar over there, but over here was actually a bit smaller. We only needed to actually stick in six manufacturers, so we made it a little bit shorter, but it's exact same premise. Then we just started plugging in the resources. The rest sort of came from below. So that silicon comes up over there, or the silica comes up over there, and then it uh, sidles through here and comes into these machines. Then the circuit boards come all the way from the far end there. You can see that. And so far we've just got them plugged into this end row. I want to show you how I'm going to connect them to the rest. And there we go. We finally got high-speed connectors being produced. Oh, and those high-speed connectors it spit out the far end and shunted down all the way to there where they're all going to collect. That's going to be the collection point for all of the 
the high speed connectors. And then we'll stick one of these on at the end and we'll run it up to a train station or something. But for now, let's connect up the last of this. And what we want to do is plug in the the circuit boards right here. We need circuit boards in these last three machine three sections because there's only well there's nothing in them. So what we want to do is grab a splitter. And nope. No, damn it, why won't you work for me? Yeah, we want you to go right there, that's fine. Is that actually going to split that out, or is it just going to pretend it's splitting it out? We'll I'll find out in a second. It's going to be a pretender, isn't it? Yep, it's a pretender, one second. There we go, it didn't pretend this time. Boom. Circuits all the way down to the end. Then we just got to do that for a few more. It's actually fairly straightforward once you start getting into... Organizing things in a reasonable manner, though coming up with a reasonable manner is the actual prop crux of the matter. All right, you go in there, and yep, perfect. That also works. And there's just one last one, which is over here. In fact, that should be fairly easy to line up because you sort of know from the silica where it's going to be. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Perfect. And we just grab one of these down here, and yeah, you're not going to fit, are you? But that's okay. That's fine. What we'll do is. is I've, I've been learning little tricks. You just do that. We can delete the... Damn it, I didn't line that up correctly. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god. This was such a noodle fryer. Also, my graphics are going ouchy ouch. You know what? Time to have a look at the graphical settings. I think we should maybe change the options a little bit. Uh, we can drop from ultra to maybe high on everything. Yeah, we're, we're starting to maybe push things just a teensy bit. Contact shadows? No, you can get rid of you. Uh, yeah, I should probably look up a tutorial on what the rest of those do. But you know what? For now, we'll just go with that. Uh, how are we, how we feeling now? Uh, no, still a bit chuggish. Might want to save and reload. But that's it. We've finally managed to finish this out. All I have to do now is put together a train station and bring it back. But that's going to be for another day. I am fried. Though this was... This was a lot of fun. Let me get a better angle on this factory. Isn't she a beauty? In a sort of a concrete, brutal sort of way. I do like the look of that. And it's actually reasonably neat. Okay, it's not super neat or anything, but we got exactly what we want out of it without too much effort. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit more effort than I probably should have put in. You know what? That second floor could do with being glass, couldn't it? I replaced all but the outside ring of concrete with glass. It's actually really annoying to do that. There's no real way to upgrade it, as far as I can see. You can upgrade foundations to different types, but not to the glass ones for some reason. No idea why. But who cares? The whole thing worked out in the end. It looks pretty, and it does its job. All right, uh, I think next up is going to be finishing off this train system, and then... Oh, copper powder? Yeah, we got to do copper powder next, don't we? With AI limiters, circuit boards, and high-speed connectors now provided from outside the factory, this cuts down an awful lot on the amount of resources. Yes, I, I know this whole thing is, is very chaotic and everywhere, but don't worry. Once we get back to our main base, we'll, we'll be fine. The problem now, though, is we have one last thing to do, and that's uh, copper ore. That's 2,794 copper ore required, and that's all to do with copper powder. We need 2,400 copper ingots to make the 400 copper powder necessary to feed into... Was it nuclear pasta? Those uh, weird box looking things. I'm thinking we make an outpost for this as well. We don't want to be pulling that into our core base. Plus, we can use a few tricks to make copper ingots easier, like maybe plug in some water to make it with the washed copper ingots. There's, there's ways we can stretch that. But I'm thinking that will be the next job. Should be an awful lot simpler well, and straightforward, considering we only need, well, smelters and constructors. It should be pretty fast. God, hopefully it is. Anyway, I'm going to cut that out here. There's uh, an orange insect or orange slug I found behind me. I'm going to go grab that in the meantime. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.